I am doing flasks today. And so, or not flasks, like beakers. And I haven't done a tutorial in a little bit, so I'm gonna teach these bad boys. And I end up doing this, um, been doing them for a long time this morning. Um, but I end up changing this model like five different times because I kept finding more efficient ways to do it than I had anticipated in the beginning. So you're gonna have to blow up your balloons with about a six, seven finger tail at the end. I've been trimming off nozzles just because you can see them through the clear balloon. And so I'm gonna say six, yeah, about six. You're gonna wanna be doing, giving them a squeeze and a stretch the whole time too. Okay, I start off with three pinch twists. And you're starting with the base here, and then you go into this, and we'll end with that. I always say that in my tutorials this and that, and I never explain really what I'm actually talking about. I need to work on that. Okay, three pinch twists right off the bat, okay? And then come down about six, seven fingers and roll those together. Squeeze and stretch that one out. Another seven finger bubble from that, from the end of this one. And then another seven finger bubble on the way up. And this one, you can actually stick out the top because that'll be the top of the beaker. Finish this off. Seven fingers, seven finger bubble, another seven finger bubble. Go ahead and lock that back up into these pinch twists. And then we're gonna go to a bird body roll through, which I like to go to the other side of the single. So I'm gonna call this a double, because it's together. And these two are singles, okay? We're gonna go down to the other side because we're gonna come across the bottom here. Seven finger bubble roll that, kind of roll that around. And the whole time you're dealing with these, these clears, get your fingers in there and separate the balloons when you're moving them around. That way you don't have that, you don't have that friction. Cause that's just the word. As balloon twisters, you start to learn how to manage friction, right? This balloon comes across, this bubble comes across the bottom and I just lock it just like that. So you would never get that undone, but if someone decides to take it apart, then they can. Whatever. If a kid wants to take their balloon apart, just let them. And they'll be like, ha, I took it apart. And be like, yeah, now you have a broken balloon. What would you like, little girl? Right? Don't worry about stuff like that. Okay? Come back up the other side. Wrap that into the three pinch twists. And then you are done with that part. Situate your three pinch twists. Just like that, okay? So you have this base, and again, this little ugly thing probably isn't the best. Have your clipper on hand, okay? Come on up about five fingers, just like that. And then a bubble, like a half inch bubble pinch twist. And then go with another little half inch bubble, and then pinch another pinch twist, half inch bubble pinch twist, so you have something like this. This is going to be the top of the beaker, okay? I'm doing a science, like a science party, and I'm actually not available to do the party. So what I like to do when I'm not available for parties is say, oh man, I really want you to have balloons at your party. Um, can I make you a pre-made balloon package? So that way all the kids will still get balloons. And some parents are like, you know what, that is a great idea. And then other parents are like, no, we love you way too much. We want you to be there. And so we don't want to have, just have balloons. We want you. So that doesn't always work out there that they want balloon packages, but sometimes they do. Okay. What I just did here was I'm looping this around this pinch twist right here. And I pinched off a, didn't pinch off, I twisted off a small little bubble around that I'm gonna loop, I'm gonna loop around and then connect into this pinch twist right here. And it doesn't always work out that way. Most of the time I've been having extra slack on this. That one I didn't either, but I'll just wrap the slack around here and then I'll loop it back through, run it back through and then wrap the slack into this one. Not a big deal, okay? But like I've got here, so this is what I just came up with as a beaker, right? 
a little bit lopsided, you could probably do better than me. I don't trip on stuff like that. My proportions, this is my 18th one, uh, maybe 19th, and it's still lopsided. I don't care. Take this bad boy and then stick it inside here. Blow it up. Until you can hear it start to start to flex out, then you just stop. You don't want to make this thing completely round, but you want to have it, you want to give it some color in there. Right now, this beaker is going to have lava inside of it, or it's going to have Raphael juice. And then this guy over here, where do we got? This is like a little bit of, not quite blue, but let me show you something. This ah, is Donatello juice, right? And so I always try to make it, I always try to give it context, right? Like everybody, all the kids mostly know Raphael. So if you see, if you're doing something with a red balloon, be like, this is Raphael, whatever. And then, or you can say, oh, this is a cherry flavored one. And it just kind of gives the kids like a, a little bit of context, how they can relate to it. And it adds value to it. So it's not just like, oh, it's red and it's clear. Be like, no, this is super crystal with red stuff. And don't call it blood. That would be the worst thing you can do. And, um, but that's basically it. Hi. Yeah, this thing's done. Hope you enjoyed that.